Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we're going to solve a problem involving link mechanism where we are told to draw the locus of a given point in the figure as shown at the right hand side of the screen. And the question that supports this diagram says the figure shows diagrammatically a pair of folding doors. Plot the locus of P for the full movement of A from D to C. AB and BC are each 150 cm and AP is 60 cm. Scale is 1 mm to 1 cm. So we're still using the same measurement, which is in what? In millimeter. So what you have to do here, first of all, is for you to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen right now we are told that dc or will i say cd is given to be what 300 as shown in the diagram at the right hand side of the screen so first of all let us draw our what our dc so let me see that from this point from this point here i'm going to draw an horizontal line faint line in this manner First of all, you can see that, and I'll pick a point. The first point I'm going to pick at this point will be my point what? My point D. So this is my point D here, right? So from that point, I'm going to measure 300 millimeter, right? So from here, we have from zero, I'm starting from one. So if I start from 1, I will stop at 31. If I start from 0, I will stop at 30. So this is 300. So this point here is my point C. Right? So I can easily, it is represented using a center line here. So I can just do my center line at that point using a long one short. Can you see that? So according to what the diagram says. You can see so at this end here i can just replicate what was drawn there at least at this point right i can just come here and i'm going to do this it's resting on a support right it's resting on a support so from this point i will extend it a little bit and i will extend it a little bit too i will take this here and I'll take this here. So put my sectioning line there, right in this manner. So this is, this is resting on this part here, and here also is resting on this part here. Right now, the next thing we are going to do here is that we are giving it says D A and C D from the from the question here. We are told that what. Um, a, B, and B, C are 150 million centimeter each, right? So, A, B, that means if I measure from here to the center, half of it is what? 150, which we know. But the first step you do is let us do that first and see what is going to really happen here. So, from here to here is 300. So, half of it is given as what? Um... 150 so if i start from one i'll be stopping at what 16. if i start from zero i'll stop at 15. so this is the center point here right so that point it is is my point what my point a right so we have a c so we are now told that uh, we said a b right from the question said a b and b c are 150 right a b and b c are 150. So I can easily just that means isosceles. I can easily take my measurements from here to here, from A to C. Since it's one fifty, I will strike an arc up here. Can you see that? I will come here also. I will also strike another arc here. You can see. So where they meet is our point C. So my point C lies in this point here. <clears throat> so I'm going to join them using my tick line. From this point to this point here, and from this point to this point here, 
you can see so what we've successfully done here we are not told that there's a point in between a and what c and that is point p and point p is 60 millimeter away right <clears throat> so we say point, point a p is what 60 so i'm going to measure a p at this point here which is what 60 replacing my meter rule at this point here i'm going to have uh 60 is 60 here so that point there is my point what point p right since we are told it is 60 so we successfully reproduce the figure as displayed at the right hand side of the screen right here now we say that if you look at this point c is a pivot it is fixed white point c is movable it is adjustable right it swings as this slide horizontally along dc right this is fixed and this also move along this point here because if you check the diagram closely from this point this goes in this manner like this this goes in this manner right it goes in this manner with what i can see in my diagram here so this goes like this and this goes like this is that again y point a moves in this fashion when a moves in this fashion horizontally as the diagram suggests right so point a go to and fro along dc so what we do is we need to replicate this motion knowing fully where in your mind that point c is pivot it doesn't move the only part that moves is c and a c moves in a, at an at, at an angle all right why a moves this stretches out so as it stretches out when this a stretch to d you realize that point at this point will lie on dc so what we'll just do is we we'll divide from here to here into as many equal parts as we can we can divide it into eight we can divide it into um, 12 whatever point we want to divide it into depending on what you want you can even divide it into 10 if you want to right so i would like to use at least 12 or 8 whatever you want is that okay now so if i do that if you divide 300 by 10 right if you divide it 300 by 10 you're going to be having 30 millimeter each is that again if you divide 300 by 12 right we're going to be having um i'll be having what 25 if i divide 300 by what by 12 out and five so let me just use 300 just so whatever distance you want to use the choice is yours so if i place my compact my c square this way starting from d to what to c you can see that and i'll measure 25 so from zero this is 10 20 25 this is the first point the next point is what 50 right that will be 0. 0.6 the next point will be 75 the next point will be um 90 right if it's 75 75 plus 25 that will give us what 100 right the next point will be 125 the next point is what? One um one twenty five one fifty. Then the next point is what? One seventy five. The next point is what? That'll give you two that'll give you one seventy five plus twenty five that'll give you what two hundred. Right? Then the next point after two hundred <clears throat> we have two twenty five. After two twenty five we have what? 250 after 250 we have what 275 then 300 right we can starting from one that's how you get your measurement is that the key now now these are the different points that we have so i can just name them to be this will be my point c0 this is one this is two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 and what 12 so what i'll do is um since this point moves in this manner 
I'll take my compass and I'll place it at point C. Point um, C and this point here is B. So let's not be misguided. This is point B. Right? So if I place this from C to B in this manner, so I can easily just tick in here. So whatever we are doing is moving along this path here. Right? So what I'm going to do is I'll start from zero. Right? So if I take this distance of this here, right? And I come to um if I place it here at this point, you know we have at point six we have B here. Is that again? So if I come to point five. I'll cut at this edge here. So that point will be my B1. B what? B5. So point 6 will give us B6 and P6. Point 5 will give us B5 and what? P5. So I'll use my meter rule and I'm going to connect from 5 to this point 5 here. You can see that? And I told you C is constant, is pivoted. Is what we have, All right? Then I'll measure another sixty from here. So this will be my A five. Here is my A six, right? So I'm going to measure it from that point, from A five to get P five. So from zero to here, this is sixty. And that will be what? My P5. Then here is B5. Similarly, I'll come again with the same measurement. Right? With the same measurement here. I'll come to 4. I'll strike another arc here. You can see that? And I'll join. This point I mark will give us B4. And here is what? A4 and I'll join B4 to A4. Then on that point, I'm going to join still the point C to B4. You can see that? And I'll measure 60 on this point 0 to here to get what? P4. All together, and similarly, I will come to P3 at this point, All right? And I'm going to mark at this point here. That point I mark will be B3, All right? So I'll connect B3 and point 3, which is A3, all together and connect point C towards B3 and I'm going to measure 60 from here to get towards P3 you get logic? then I'll come again I'll measure from point 2 to this point here that point I mark will be B2. So I'm going to join um, P2 to what? To B2 in this fashion. Right? And I'll also join point C to B2 in this fashion. Is that the key? So from that point, I'm going to measure 60 from point two which is a2 to get what to get p2 you will have here so this is p2 here are we good similarly i will mark with the same measurement i'll come here also from one i'm going to mark on that point which point i'm talking about the arc here 
uh, here already marked there so this is my b1 right so i'm going to join a1 to what b1 right it's a1 here then connect the pivot point here c to b1 right and i'll make 60 from a1 to this point here a60 to get what b1 and i'll come to give the same measurement from a0 here from point zero i'll just mark the point here right let me extend this so it's meeting at this point here just at the same point here is that again so from that point i'm going to since they are on the same it's on the same stream line i'll just run from this point d and i'm going to mark what 60. from d here i'll mark what 60 0 to 6 that give us our p what p 0 right that is point 0 because it's sliding all through out together so it's sliding what <clears throat> all through so i have i've already gotten my b1 then the b0 it's just the b is always on this point here so i'll continue moving right so um from seven also i'll mark on this point that will give me my b7 right so i'm going to join point seven which will automatically my a7 right i'll connect this point to that point point line you can see that and I'll measure 60 from this point. How good? I'll measure 60 from this point. This is 60 here. That will give me P7. I'll come again with the same measurement from 8. I'll place it at point 8. I'll mark to give me B8. Is that the key? Here will be automatically A8. And I'll join B8 to what? to a8 and i'm going to measure 60 from that point 0 to 60 right and that will give me my p8 and i'll come again from p9 i'll mark so at this point here this is my b9 so i'm going to connect p9 to b9 and also this point to this point here right so if i connect that point to this point on that point i'm going to measure 60 automatically this is my a9 here so I'll mark from 0 to 60 right this is p9 and i'm going to come again from 10 place it at this point a10 I'm going to have B10. This is what? B10. And here is my A10. And I'm going to connect B10 to A10. So I'm going to mark 60. Right? So this is my P10. Right? So I'll connect point C to this point here. All good now the next thing I'm going to do is with the same measurement that I use I put that 11 I'm going to mark at this point so where it marks will be my B11 so I'm going to connect B11 to A11 then C is still constant there right this is my A11 so I'm going to measure 60 0 to 60 that gave me my p11 then the last but not the least is what my 12 we are this point here just on the same point here so if i want to i'll just 
it's not the same point anywhere there right so this is all the points we have i can easily just come from here and just measure anything just measure uh 150 right so from here you measure 150 150 is just anywhere on this line here so this is 150 here i can just join this right so that's what we have there so just measure 60 on that point so now from here to here it's going to be 60 if i want to i just place it here and i'll mark so on the same line we have my p12 so you can just use your french curve and you're going to connect all those points p we call it the locus of p so this is how the door is opening when it's sliding this is how p is moving so from here i'll just take from this point just click on this point here can you see that on this one like this and this one should go like this this is the p that we have Then this below half here, When I come here, I will have this. This is what we have here. That is the locus of what? Of P. Right? So when this door is sliding like this, this is what the part P is going to form. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.